Hello everyone, welcome to the daily analysis video. So, uh, as discussed on Thursday, uh, Thursday's analysis, that is mainly the big guys are doing taking long positions. Uh, that is, they were doing put writing. So, the main uh, point being here is that on Friday, so we saw like put writing was happening. As I always say that uh, what uh, what are the fresh positions that are building up during the intraday. So, if you want uh, to catch that, so you have to do some data analysis. So. Uh, you need to know uh, how to analyze the data. So, uh, so basically, what happened was the uh, first of all the call prices were too much overpriced. So now what happens is that uh, like uh, these these type of scenarios occurs when market can go up. Okay, so the call prices will be too much overpriced and uh, and uh, so buying them won't make sense. Okay, because uh, if it goes up, then also like you won't gain much because they are already like they are factored into it and if if market go, uh, like uh, gives a consolidation or it goes down then it erodes heavily okay so that's why like keeping all the uh, things in uh, i mean keeping in uh, everything in mind so we took some positions we took bullish uh, bullish positions uh, but yeah we took a lot of combination of positions and uh, i mean made it safe so basically like uh, since heavy put writing was going on uh, so that that's why i also went bullish and uh, so i have taken positions uh, and i have also shared it with the members in such a way that is like uh, we are safe till 21800 uh, okay so even if market comes down to 21800 then also like uh, if it expires at 21800 as well so then also like uh, the positions will end up in a profit and uh, yeah so that's the beauty of like uh, these strategies and uh, so it was my uh, made strategy so anyways uh, the thing is that uh, if uh, market crosses 21800 uh, uh, in the downward direction so i'll basically close my positions at a minimal loss okay so uh, that being said here that is uh, also coming down to our money flow indicators so, uh, th uh, throughout the day you can see that the uh, like the strength was shown by the indicators so uh, though i mean uh, like sometimes you will see that these negative uh, so uh, the scores went to the negative zone but they did not go heavily into the negative zone so uh, even in the negative zone also there is a neutral zone so they were almost in the neutral zone so in the morning as you can see like uh, mainly long positions were building up uh, as you can see the scores were be, uh, going positive and also looking at the charts of our uh, ai money flow so yes as you can see here the long position started building up and uh, so that's uh, the overall thing and also like uh, talking about our bank nifty as well so bank nifty also if you see look at the uh, scores so you can see that uh, like again in the morning at around uh, 10 30 to 11 so these long positions were building up and also one more thing was there that is uh, here that is uh, put premiums were uh, very low and uh, also the decay was mainly on the put side so uh, you saw that the put side uh, like premiums uh, eroded very fast so uh, that being said like uh, the other let's come to the other analysis so FIIs have uh, bought and also DIs have bought last Friday so talking about on the charts so there was one confusion uh, on the charts which I also posted during the live market hours that is if you look at here that is bearish divergence as well as uh, hidden bullish divergence both are forming okay so now the question is what to do in such scenario okay so the very first thing you can do is you uh, like I, I am analyzing this in 15 minutes chart so what you can do is like uh, you shouldn't go to lower time frames because lower time frames are mostly unreliable so you can go to one hour chart and see that whether I mean uh, there is some divergence which is forming now you see that now uh, in one hour chart there is no basically divergence forming so that's why like then uh, you basically your conclusion becomes that no uh, I mean uh, I shouldn't uh, like trade any one of these uh, or maybe like uh, if I am only concentrating on the RSI indicators then I won't trade okay but since i also uh, am looking at the option chain and seeing that the put side uh, premium decay is more and put writers that means put writers are there my indicators are saying that long positions have been uh, have been built up so that's why like i went bullish but uh, yes if rsi is confusing then you go to higher time frames to 
clear out your confusion now talking about uh, the level so now you know that it's like all uh, it can if it goes up it breaks all all time high so uh, for now there there is no point in talking about uh, support and resistance yeah support is at like 21981 even if that breaks then 21926 okay for nifty for bank nifty uh, above we have resistance at 46900 even if that doesn't work then the next one would be at 47241 and 47436 for fin nifty the above level is for uh, 20,649 uh, and above, uh, below support is 20,393 which we already discussed and you saw that on Friday it took support there. So now talking about the EOD data so if you look at here that is long, posi long futures position built up by the FIIs and uh, prop takes not much activity they have closed some long positions. Now talking about, uh, I think they are booking their futures long positions at all time high, near about all time high. Now talking about the other data points, that is, uh, if you look at here, that is the FIIs in uh, on Friday, they have mostly done uh, put writing and also they have done uh, call writing as well. Now talking about uh, PropDex as well, they have done uh, even put writing and also like uh, some call writing, uh, sorry, some call buying they have done, but also call writing has been done. So. The main thing is that put writing has been done by both the FIs and the prop decks. Even if you look at the overall positions on the in the month of February, so put writing can be seen mostly. And uh, for prop uh, prop decks, like no, not much call writing, so they are call buyers and put writers. For FIs, they are they have done call writing, but majorly they have done put writing. And recently they have also taken some futures long positions, but overall in futures they are bearish, and they are their bearish positions are at a heavy loss. Okay, so uh, that being said, like again, uh, I said this earlier as well, that is as we go closer to the election, so uh, index will be managed and you can very well see that. I mean, stock prices are going up like, uh, I mean, there is no tomorrow. So uh, that usually happens. Uh, these type of uh, events usually happens before an election. And uh, so basically, uh, I said this earlier as well, that is, uh, we uh, we we won't fall much but again uh, whether we would be just uh, like uh, having a bull run again uh, like what we did like uh, in the month of November and December nifty just shot up by 3000 points in a matter of like no, uh, less than two months so will that again happen or not so that is ba basically a controversial say, uh, a question uh, I mean that is uh, that, that 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 no one can say okay so that's con controversial so uh, let's not uh, uh, I mean uh, let's let's not argue on that so mainly thing is that yes as uh, like I have also taken positions if things goes bullish I win if things goes uh, against my direction so uh, even then also I would be exiting safely and uh, as I know that uh, since in indexes are being managed, so uh, it won't happen that we would suddenly see a thousand uh, more than th more than a thousand points fall or maybe a thousand points fall. So uh, accordingly, I have taken position. So that's my overall analysis. So thanks for watching and keep watching and keep learning and trade safely. See you in the next one.